Hi gents. Okay, this is the ongoing uh, battle to get the outputs on the Speedwino working. Um, let's start off with the code or the firmware that I've just loaded is your January version B code. Okay, now what I've done in the Arduino, in the Tuna Studio, sorry, is I've set up the thermo fan to be operating on pin number five, as you can see there. Temperature that it'll switch on at is 85 degrees with a three degree hysteresis, okay? Then what I've done is I've got my fuel pump set up on board default, okay? You can leave that on board default and we're gonna check how this works. Now, remember 85 degrees is the temperature that the fan switches on at, we're sitting at 76 degrees. Now, is the board. As you can see, there's a cranking signal going into the board, 27 RPM, and it recognizes it as cranking. So the engine's busy cranking. Now, I've connected this output pin on 37. Now, pin 37 should be the fan. Now, how I know that is I've tested it. What the schematic says might be something different. We'll get there just now. So I'm on pin 37. Connected to a multimeter, and I've got three pots over here. The center one here, as you can see as I turn it, will increase the temperature. There you go, 85, 88, 13.46 volts. That's what the power supply is providing. Okay, fan is on. As soon as I go down to 85, 84, 83 degrees, fan is still on because I've got a three degree hysteresis. If I hit 82, 81, there you go, fan is off. Okay, so fan works on pin 37. Let's understand this. Let's understand this carefully. In the utils.ino, in case 3, you can see I'm on case 9, I've changed pin fan to 5. As you can see, it's highlighted over there. I've changed VVT1 to pin 45 and fuel pump to four. I've switched those two pins basically. And then what I've done is I've taken pin idle one to 47 and pin five to five, uh, pin fan to five. So I've swapped those two. So if you have a look at the schematic, digital five, the bottom there, connects through Q6, which is correct. I have beeped them out with a con uh, continuity tester and that is the result I get on a 04.2 board. So Q8 is pin 35 on the IDC connector. Q5, pin 2, is connected to pin 36 on the IDC connector. Q6, pin 38, Q7, pin 37. That's fact, okay? Right, now, so D5, just to recap, remember, we're talking about pin fan, it's pin 5. D5 is high current 2 out. Our current 2 out connects to pin 38, incorrect. It connects to pin 37, as you can see, and we've just done the test. So that is incorrect. Here are the correct outputs that the schematic should be updated with. So D5 through Q6 is equal to idle out pin 37. If you have a look at the original schematic, idle out pin 37. So there's the first mistake. Second mistake is D4 through Q5 is actually equal to high current 2 out pin 38. So D4 through Q5, that says high current 1 out. High current 1 out is pin 36. Incorrect, it's actually pin 38. And let me show you how I know this. So what I'm going to do to test this uh, is I need to show you the fuel pump on pin 4. There are no other pins that have got the same number. So there's no conflict, uh, conflicting uh, pin numbers here. So pin 4, right? Let's go across to Tuna Studio. Remember, I've showed you this already, but I'll show it to you again. Fuel pump, board default. Okay, I haven't changed anything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug Tuna Studio. You'll see it'll go offline now. I still have my cranking signal. I'm going to move to pin 38, 
Okay, this is my pin 38. This is my cranking signal. And I have 13 volts. All right, so let's go to the RG stem and unplug my signal. Now I no longer have any crank signal coming in to the, uh, the, 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 the speedrino. I've lost my voltage. In other words, the pump is off. Let's switch off the power supply. Okay. Switch the power supply back on. I've got 13 volts. Four, five, four, three, two, one. And it should switch off. There's my six second prime. In other words, the fuel pump is working. So let's just go to starting cranking settings. Just to verify what I've done. Fuel pump prime duration, six seconds. So what I've just done is I've verified that the fuel pump is actually operating correctly on pin 38. Let me plug my RG stem back in again. Uh, there we go. I get a cranking signal and 13 volts. So pin 38 is equal to idle out on the original schematic. It says pin 37 is idle out. Here are the corrections. Digital 4 on your Arduino goes through Q5, pin 2 on Q5, equals high current number 2 out. Okay? And that is pin 38. How I got high current 2 out is I'm using the original schematic, which says high current 2 is 38. Okay? But this specific diagram there, the generic outputs diagram, is incorrect. Then... Arduino pin digital 5 through Q6 pin 2 is idle out pin 37. How I know that? On the original schematic, idle out is pin 37. Okay, so D4 is high current 2 out. D5 is idle out. Okay, more to come, gents. Uh, I'm going to try and sift through all of the, the little pins and all of the errors with regards to the uh, um, the basic features that don't work on the Arduino one by one. So there's something for you guys in the meantime that does actually work.